Hey guys, Anna here, Heart of Much Guarantee, and our today topic is why do single Ukrainian ladies are not living in Ukraine, and if you are able and how to influence them to do that, especially if it's your lady. So guys, I'm going to mention five main reasons why it happened, and in some cases you can influence, in some unfortunately no. So reason number one. There is unfortunately some territories of Ukraine from where technically it's almost impossible to be evacuated, such as Mariupol, Chernihiv, and some areas in the south of Ukraine. It's really, it's heartbreaking, you know. If there is anywhere hell in the world, it's right there, you know. And all you can do just pray, you know, for her to stay alive, you know, because people they, you know, daily hourly they fight for, for their life so in this case you just basically cannot do nothing only pray so another reason it's when lady uh, she's doctor have medicine education or somehow obligated to serve uh, you know to yeah to the army uh, so she has no legal reason, cannot leave territory of Ukraine, and she work as a doctor. So, you know, nothing you can do as well here. Another reason is when lady has somebody very, very dear to her heart in Ukraine, and she cannot leave those person there. In most cases, especially if it's older lady, it's her son. As you know, men from age of 18 to 60, they cannot leave territory of Ukraine. So you cannot imagine mother in Ukraine who leave her son behind, or, you know, if it's like mother in Lviv, you know, or father, as you know, like Ukrainian culture, it's like very, you know, people very attached to each other, you know, they like, you know, they go all together or don't, nobody goes. So it can be a case and I don't want to talk, you know, bad about Western uh, culture, but I just heard some information, and you can correct me in the comments if I'm if I'm wrong. But I heard that sometimes in a Western marriage, when couples split, children can stay with a father because you know couple decide decide like this, and uh, mother okay with this, and mother can even remarry, have another children in it's all existing one reality, and I cannot imagine this situation happen in Ukraine. Um, you cannot find in Ukraine single father unless mother die, you know. Like, we have opposite problem that sometimes Ukrainian ladies, they so much into being mother that they, you know, babysit, you know, an adult man, you know, like he's 40 and she's still, it's my kid, you know, I will cook for him, I will, you know, that's the opposite of, you know, what's not normal and that have happening in Ukraine. It's not all women, of course. Um, as we uh, teach ourselves from 13 years old, you start to slowly prepare yourself uh, for if you have a boy, you know, and also girl that, you know, it's a temporary guest in your family and there is, will be a time when you need to let, you know, this guest to go and create his own family. And yeah. But especially if a woman was single, you know, she grew up this child alone. She put all her love, efforts, energy, you know, into this man. And of course, he's the most dearest person. And you cannot imagine a situation that she would go to save her life and leave child behind. So in that case, you actually cannot do much, you know, be with her and just, you know, make sure she at least or move in territory to U of Ukraine in some relatively safe area, uh, support her financially because you know now in territory Ukraine to the west it's moved already like mm -hmm. around six million people. So you can understand there is no enough place. You cannot work, you know, and basically all you can do just live and wait in in big hope that one day it will finish and. And safe life will come back. So, 
yeah, you can be with her emotionally support and financially and maybe you know at the end of the war she will be when her son can leave the territory of Ukraine they can you know you can use this time of building a relationship with her so uh, another another reason uh, it's uh, uh, you know some ladies they are very um, patriotic you know and they they just involved a lot now in different volunteer job uh, they really uh, most of them never travel abroad they so much in love with Ukraine uh, most of them never can imagine themselves to marry a foreigner, you know, they like everything they know in their life is just Ukraine and you know they they too much scary to you know to go somewhere and um, Basically, they they don't see this as an option at all. It's not in their life picture and um, another another fact that uh, you know many of ukrainian ladies i believe in the wor worldwide as well grew up in, with a self-limited belief that uh, i'm not worthy of love and i have to deserve love i'm not good enough for, for love you know and those things make them um all time um, force them to serve other people to take care about everybody but not about themselves you know that's why they're very active now in the war serving soldiers cooking food uh, like doing everything possible just to prove themselves they are good you know they are good because they don't believe they are good they need to prove this all, all time for themselves so it's a big part of you know a lot of ukrainian ladies believe and that's why they very um, normally in like this in the family they're very caring loving supportive in the way how they express themselves because it's a part of their belief about themselves so but it's not all okay it's just some right i believe this case also happened like all over the, around the world right and uh, um, if uh, you know you're in relationship with a lady who you know she, who just see herself volunteering and she needs this energy of giving you know giving 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 and uh, but you know she's in a relationship with you you just can uh, assure her and help her that um, if she would leave Ukraine she can continue doing help from abroad you know but she will be in a safe area and maybe even more productive because she will have clear mind there is many things she can do in distance you know as well as if she will live in territory if you know if you live in a country who helped ukrainians a lot she can join this big movement you know who finding uh, shelters for ukrainian providing food you know there is many different uh, coordination work you know needed and they will need this volunteer so she can do it in your country as well uh, if no uh, she can continue do in distance how I do now for example uh, trying to help with still with evacuation of people um, doing what I can you know from distance so there is always a way to help Ukrainian people or like now I try to collect money you know send it to people who ask me for help so there is always a way you just need to help her to come up with this idea that she will be much more effective doing this from your homeland you know being with you and you will be there for support her in all ways possible so you got the idea and last case is when lady oh my god they like live in such a big level of fears and this fear they just block their any move you know they just like they like frozen you know leaving and waiting I don't know until peace will come because they so much uh, m most of those ladies they never travel they don't know language um, or they just afraid you know like they're afraid how you know fears come to us in the most uh, like you know uh, biggest scary way you know she can imagine herself dying without food or 
dying without shelter, sleeping on the street, you know, or like things like that, you know, it's not good picture come, you know, when you have fears. So if you, if your lady just have, she has possibility to go, she just have very big level of fear, you can assure her, you know, and help her to overcome each fear by each, you know, like if she's afraid where she will live, you can find her home, send her picture, this is contact, you know, do this all job for her because if she live in this kind of fear, she just, you know, she cannot, her brain doesn't work normal, you know, she needs your help, you know, your, your fresh mind, you know, and your, um, yeah, your support, first of all, emotional. She need to feel that she can rely on you, you know, that you will be that man who will support her, you know, emotionally, in, in with information, uh, financially, including, you know, it's a big part of support. And if she will feel that you, this man who, you know, will not leave her and next day when she will go abroad, you know, it can happen. At the same time, you know, you need to understand um, that um, some lady, they, um, they, don't want to feel obligated you know like if she's maybe not your girlfriend you know but you just decided to help her know her somehow and uh, like she can have this fear that you know if she will come to you you will take advantage of her you know it's another reason but i can tell i tell you that it's very known information now in ukraine and it's part of her big fear that uh when ladies go abroad they can could be taken uh, to um, to prostitute slaves, you know, and uh, you just have to be, you know, very careful. Uh, and uh, you know, all this information they scare her a lot, and she just, you know, prefer to stay in a safe place in Ukraine, in the west of Ukraine, waiting for a better future. So. If it's your case, you can, guys, you know, do a lot to help lady to overcome her fears and, you know, showing her pictures, every step of how she needs and everything will, what will be after she do this stuff, you know. When she will see this all, will be ready, will be in contact with invitation person, you know, it will be much easier for her to start to do steps towards her future life. Um, I hope guys it was helpful for you in this video um, let's all pray for Ukraine and uh, we have big hope that it will finish soon thank you for watching me being with me today hope to see you soon in my upcoming videos bye bye